guys and welcome back to another video so today this is the 2018 guide on how to use OBS to record The Sims 4 so first off we are going to jump straight in to, to, to the tutorial so you are going to want to go over to your internet browser of choice mine is Google Chrome it appeared on my other window so let's just drag it over so first you're going to want to go to the very top bar and you're going to go obsproject.com enter and then it will bring you to this website the website has yet again changed so we are going to go whether and choose what operating system we are so for me I'm Windows so I'm just going to click Windows and then you'll see it downloads right down here so I'm not going to install it because I already have the program installed but all you'll need to do is just click next next agree and then next on whatever order it comes and it will just install it really quickly and simply so once that's gone we are going to now go down to this area down here click on the start menu and type OBS and then it should be OBS studio right here so we're going to click on that what you're going to do you'll be brought and greeted with a screen like this yes it might be a bit smaller than what it is but I've just resized it to make it bigger and to fit my screen and how I like it so a lot of the time I'll just go like this and have it on my other screen but for now I'm just going to keep it in this window so first off what you're going to want to do before we do anything down here what you're going to want to do you're going to want to click settings so once you do that it will bring up this menu and I like to use the theme um, Acre so I select that and then I'm going to click apply and that will apply this theme and I just like it because it's dark it's modern it's a very sort of modern looking theme so I just use that so now we're in the settings menu the stream menu don't worry about it unless you're going to be streaming but that is a different topic so we're going to move on to output now this I would just like to make you aware is for Nvidia graphics cards users there will be another part of this there'll be another video going up at some point with people who don't use an Nvidia graphics card to record their games so if those of you who are using just or this is for someone who wants to use their graphics card to help out their system when recording if their CPU doesn't do it so I like to use my graphics card anyway because it just it makes it look better in my opinion so we're on this area here so this is the streaming tab and I'm just going to go across to the recording tab here um, so first off you are going to choose um, standard or custom output now I do leave it on standard whoops I do leave it on standard um, so you'll be able to see what these are and also I do leave it as mp4 so what I do first I go in and I select right okay where do I want to store it yes I want to store it in here so YouTube okay so then videos so I go and store it in this videos right there so I'll just select folder so once you've done that once you've selected where you want it to go um, my I select it to mp4 mode and the audio track I leave it as audio track 1 and then to get it so that we use so this here is the CPU which your CPU is the central processing unit it's basically the brain of your computer so and it's what yeah it is literally the brain of your computer so I so to release some stress from that in games which are highly demanding for example when I record CSGO or Counter-Strike Global Offensive I use this in the N, N, in this one, the H.264 NVIDIA one, because it relieves the stress which on the CPU a bit more and it lets my game run better because CSGO is a very CPU intensive game. Now, quickly, before we do anything, I just want to show you um, what, how to find what your CPU is. So your CPU, it will be if you go down and you can search in control panel or just search in control and control panel will be here so if you click that and then over on it will should pop up in a menu like this so what you're going to want to do you want to go to system and security and then under system here view amount of RAM and processor speed 
So at the moment, I only have an 8 gig of RAM, but that was because when I built my PC, the RAM prices were really high, and I have an i5-6400 CPU. So this, that's what I know, that's my system. So now if we go back into, that's how to find your system if you want to find it. So if you if you don't know what it is already. So we're going to go into settings and what back again and under the recording tab. So after you've done this, audio track, make sure it's selected on one and select the nvenc.h and space h.264. So that's the graphics card. And then... You can rescale your output, but I just leave it generally to what I use in the video settings. But that'll be later. Excuse me, that'll be later on. So next, the rate control. You see, last time I set it to CBR, con a constant bit rate. But now I use a, Q a CQP. I use that, and I set it the CQP to twenty-seven. So that. This is what's working fine for me at the moment in most games. So the CBR, it was difficult and it just didn't quite work, but the Q CQP works quite well for me. So the key, for, um, I'm going to leave the this at zero, or if it's anything else, just make it to zero. I'm this preset Blu-ray, set it to Blu-ray. Um, the profile, I leave it as baseline, and then level, it's at auto. And then I use two pass encoding and I select GPU to zero and B frames, B dash frames to two. So once you've done that, click apply and you can move down to your audio tab. Now the audio tab, this is where you select the audio and where you want the system sound to be. And if you want to record your microphone through this, which I'm not at the moment, obviously, um, but I'm using a program, a free program called Audacity, as you can just see it here, which is recording my mic as I speak right there. And you can see it just here. So if I just drag that across to my other window very quickly. Um, so I use the sample rate at 44.1 kilohertz. I leave it as that, I put the channels to stereo, and then the desktop audio device, I leave that as default, desktop audio device 2, that's disabled, so I, I don't need that, and then the mic slash auxiliary audio device, that's default, um, mic, and then the mic slash auxiliary audio device 2 and 3 are both disabled, and then the audio meter decay rate is at fast so that is the settings if you just want to take some time to just copy that down that's fine pa pa feel free to pause the video at any point and go back and just rewatch it and rewatch it if you don't understand and then we will progress on right now okay so into this area here the base canvas resolution, that is the standard resolution what you are going to record in. So say you want to record in 720p, you'll record, your base canvas will be 720p. If you I'm recording in 1080p, so my base canvas is 1080p. Now the output scaled resolution, that's say if you if your monitor is 1080p and your game's at 1080p, but you want your videos to not be as hard hitting and as hard taxing on your computer. So you rescale it down to 720p, for example, and that will then make it, it will make it a smaller file size and it will make it a less taxing video on your system. So that's what I use there. I just keep it as 1080p because I want it pure 1080p for my videos. Now the downscale filter, that I leave it as Lanco, Lanzo, or sharpen 32 samples. I leave it as that. And then it, I select common FPS values and I set it to 60. So I set it 60 FPS because I want the smoothest gameplay and the smoothest recording I can possibly get. And so once you've done that, click apply. So once you've done that, uh, you're going to click OK. And we are done. And you should be brought to this menu and you should then see once your mic and all that's been set up, 
you should see how you should see that here when you talk your mic is moving up and down if you have set it so what you're going to want to do you should have a scene here so I'm just going to rename this scene here by right clicking and clicking rename to um, gameplay so once I've done that I'm going to move into this sources menu here so you can either click down here or right click so I prefer to right click so I right click in this menu and I click add now that goes down to here where I can go down and you can choose a display capture which will catch which will capture your entire monitor and whatever is on it so you can choose game capture which is what we're going to do today so you're going to click game capture and then I'm going to name it to the sims 4 okay and then I'm going to click OK and then capture you will want to go down to capture specific window and then click this window where it says window you want to go down to click the sims 4 okay so now while the sims 4 is just loading up in the background I'm going to right click and go into properties of this just into so actually let me just delete that and go through the process again because that seems very rushed so I'm going to right click I'm going to click add I'm going to click game capture for capturing the sims 4 and then I'm going to go the sims 4 so once I've done that I'm going to click on that where it says capture any full screen application I'm going to go down to capture specific window and then under the window tab you should see the sims 4 appear at the top here so once I've done that I'm going to click OK and then yes I know it's just my mods I disabled but that's just because I've had an update and I do have some mods so now that you can see now that should have loaded up in that game there but somehow say it's like this oh no what do I do what what happens how do I resize it you can either click on here and press Control and F to fit or if it's like this Control F or if it's like this say you could right click on here go to scale go to transform and then you're going to go down to fit to screen and then it should fit into your screen just like so and you should then see your game just like this and you should be able to load it up and do everything that you want to do with it so all you need all that's left now is click record record your videos and then the entire process of editing then kicks in Okay guys, so I'll see you again soon. It's been me, Babysits Gaming. I'll see you again soon and have an awesome day. See you guys. Bye.